Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Uh, we are now going to get right into using the uh, the tap threader that came with this kit. This is a, a keystone tap threader and uh, now I'm inserting it and I'm turning it just gently to the right trying to grab uh, some of the threads just loosening it trying to go back and forth a little bit just to to get a feel for if we can go inside of um, of this uh, implant fixture. Now I did take a number two round burr and I did open the hole a lot more so that we can now engage the, th the, uh, the threader. And so when you look at a threader on the sides of the threads themselves that do uh, clean and cut into the area of uh, these troughs on each side of the threader um, are the troughs that the debris and all the metal filings would come up into. So I'm working it back and forth. Um, it is suggested that once you do work it in, take it all the way out and rinse. Um, I decided to go ahead and rinse this as I was uh, using the threader. So it is tapping in. We are into the, be the, the right threads. Now I'm rinsing it. So really what, what what I would suggest is take it all the way out and rinse it uh, versus just rinsing as you go. Okay, so you'll get a chance to see now finally uh, the threads. Appreciate you hanging in there. Uh, I know this has been a long video series, but I wanted to show you the steps that were taken um, with this case. We never gave up. Uh, this is uh, uh, a better look through now my mirror and you'll see the, the different colorations too. You see now the threads, you see the bottom of the implant fixture internally, you'll see some gold threads down, way down inside. Um, you know, so we've got light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, here, which is um, what everybody wanted when we didn't give up. So there's a small little piece floating around inside. We're going to use hopefully a suction device or some kind of a cotton plier to get that out. You see it? It's just moving around. That's one of the threads from the screw itself. So the internal aspect of the, th the threaded portion of the screw is now gone. It's obliterated. The threads now are apparent. Um, we are just sticking right now with the honing or the, um, the threading device. Uh, suction tip went in, suction tip's going to go back in and see if we can pull out uh, any of the uh, particle mass now. We're just basically looking for debris at this point. Um, once we clear the debris and we're able to tap all the way down inside and re-thread the, the uh, fixture, we'll then be able to use um, another screw after thoroughly cleaning it. Use another screw. Here's the piece and you'll be able to see that now close up. You see that's just a thread. That's all it is. It's this uh, small and, and almost like a C-shape. Um, so this is what the threading device does. It goes back into the original threads and you got to be careful not to cross thread anything. That's that's the part, that's the pitfall, because if you do cross thread, then everything is it's over. But this case, we were able to go right back in through the th the threaded areas of the original fixture itself. So we've got another four minutes of video time right now. So I may just have you watch the technique as we continue. I'm noticing further in that there's another piece that's almost at the last thread. Uh, the key now is to identify what you have and count the number of threads. I'm still trying to get one more small piece out that's kind of lodged at the base. We talked about using another small quarter round burr to go down there and get it. I now have to count the number of threads 
and by doing so I found out that we have a total of seven out of eight threads that are available and I spoke with John the uh, engineer of the uh, uh, Keystone uh, company and he said if you can get between six and eight threads you should be okay for retention so we do have what I counted to be seven and the more I review this video the more I'm confirming that it is seven threads that I do have um, so that is a, a good look at the internal aspect now of this rescue case um, the anodize obviously is going to be missing on the threads uh, it's just a, a coating but that's okay uh, you know life will go on as long as the threads hold um, this case sh now should be treatment plan to be splinted sorry if the mirror is a little foggy right now I'm gonna go down now just to feel to see if it's loose piece see if I can increase the focus here Um, um, it's right about seven o'clock now, so I've been at it about four hours, and uh, with success. Again, we started with uh, just applying a little pressure with an inverted cone burr, that didn't work. Then we went with a pilot hole and an inverted cone that didn't work. Then we slotted it, and I used two slotted drivers that got it loose but didn't get it out and then I had to use a round burr to burrow down through the middle to insert the tapping threading device and by the way I would highly recommend use a brand new threader do not use a used one uh, they do wear out and I would not want to go back in with you know a device that was used on another case so everything should be new just goes without saying um, you're going to be at your best I'm getting a few suggestions now from my good patient and um, we're going to continue to to rinse and use the threader and and now it's a good idea to think about you know what am I going to put in there do I have a healing abutment well, the company did give me a, a a cover screw, so it is of a different color code. Um, we got a blue. It is magenta, but I did get a blue, which is smaller. Um, but still, I want to cover the the threaded area, so all the threads are the same. The screw portion of the of the uh, cover screw is the same. You'll see that in the next video clip. Um, so right now it's it's just rechecking. See if we can get that small little piece out from the base or should we elect to leave it. Um, the actual cutting end of the the uh, threader, the tapper itself, um, has a certain shape or configuration and when I looked at the base portion of the fixture it did match that of the cutting device so it wherever the cutting device stops that's where you should then end uh, your pursuit because if you continue to try to use this retapping threading device you could go through the base of the implant and you could also strip uh, the threads that you took so much caution to uh, to clean out so a lot of this is manual dexterity and now we're going to check the threads this is a impression coping screw it's also an, an aligning screw to just show you that now we are definitely going in with ease okay relative ease and that's what we wanted to to see before we place the cover screw um, if there is a small amount of debris at the end, we will ask the uh, restorative dentist just to shorten the knob on the new screw that goes in just a little bit. Don't touch the threads. 
but just the end knob and that should be fine giving yourself plenty of room to uh, to place the screw and to not over tighten the screw as well we'll see you on the final clip dr. Jerry Cuomo have a great day out there